Hi, welcome to What's Happening here are the top five stories today. At number one, the federal government of Nigeria has accounted for lifting the ban on Arik Air operations after the airline planes had been grounded for a week. The Director of Public Affairs and Consumer Protection at the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, NCAA, Michael Achimogu, disclosed this in a Wednesday statement on X. He said the dispute between Atlas Petroleum and Arik Air, which necessitated the grounding of the airline's operations, has been resolved. The Nigerian Airspace Management Agency, NAMA, explained that the move to ground Arik Airlines' operations was a sequel to an order by the FCT High Court Enforcement Department regarding a debt of $2.5 million owed by Arik to Atlas Petroleum International Limited. At number two, President Bolotunibu has directed security agencies to intensify efforts to crack down on illegal miners in the country. He gave the order while receiving a presentation titled, Hi Nursing, the Mining Industry for Enhanced National Security and Development, Strategic Options for Nigeria by 2035, by cost 32 participants of the National Defense College, NDC, on Thursday in Abuja. He also said his administration will ensure that companies engaged in mineral exploration prioritize the health and safety of Nigerians and the host communities. The course 32 participants were tasked by Tinubu to use their findings during their 11-month study focused on the mining industry's potential to contribute to national security and development. At number three, the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps and Umbrella State Command has arrested a suspect impersonating a Nigerian Navy rating and engaging in fraudulent activities. The suspect, Tripu Gazirim Christian, a 39-year-old male from Nobi in the Ndemili North local government area of Anambra State, was apprehended at the Quata Junction in Oka on Tuesday, August 6, 2024, by the NSCDC operatives on a routine feasibility patrol. The Anambra State NSCDC commandant, Maku Olatunde, while parading the suspects at the command headquarters in Oka on Thursday, said preliminary investigations uncovered that the suspect had been masquerading as a naval officer, duping innocent civilians and engaging in a string of criminal activities. At number four, Zambian police said on Thursday they had arrested opposition politician Fred Mbepe over a post alleging that the DR Congo leader claimed to have paid his Zambian counterpart millions of dollars to buy off criticism. Mbappe, leader of the Small Socialist Party, was arrested for the offence of seditious practices, police said in a statement. The police said they acted after Mbappe posted on social media on July 16th an article entitled President Felix Shisekedi tells DRC Catholic bishops about the 20 million US dollars payouts to buy Zambia's silence. Mbappe was detained in police cells and will appear in courts to answer the charges, the police said. At number five, Botswana's Letzli Tebogo claimed a surprise Olympic 200 meters gold medal as Noah Liles was denied a sprint double at Paris 2024. Tebogo, aged 21, stumped Claire of his rivals to clock an African record of 19.46 seconds and finished ahead of American Kenneth Bednarik, who crossed the line in 19.62 seconds. Lilis crowned the world's fastest man by 5 thousandths of a second in a historic 100-meter final four days earlier, was unable to compete at the head of the race and matched his Tokyo bronze in 19.70 seconds. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.